Hi guys, I've been to the range. My name is Fawn, this is my channel and it's my happy place. I do shopping hauls and I do clothing um, and I do chats and um, yeah, that's me really. So if you think you might like it, please do click subscribe, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. Right, always have to get that bit out of the way. It does make a difference, you know, it's surprising. Anyway, sorry. I went to the range. Now I went to the range to take mum. Mum wanted some new cushions and a few bits and pieces so I went with her and somehow ended up coming out with a whole load of stuff myself. I spent £160. <sighs> but, but I've already used some of the bits. You'll notice my hands, can you see there's black on them? I don't know if it'll come across. I've been painting. <laughs> And my hands, I have it all over my legs as well because I was outside painting in, it in one of those, you know, the um, little sundresses I bought with the strap, uh, strapless ones? I was wearing one of those, so I got paint on my legs. Anyway, let's move on, let's move on and let me show you what I've got. Yes, so we'll start off with this, which I thought was a brilliant idea. I have lots of towels for drying my dogs, um, but they don't really like, you know, they, they'll sit there and tolerate me rubbing them a little bit and then they want to be gone. So I saw these, it's a pet drying mitt. There's actually a pair in here. They're three pounds, microfiber noodle mitt, because, sorry if I've moved, I had to go and let somebody in. No, as I was saying, drying my dogs can be a real pain, but they do love being stroked and they do love being patted. So I thought something you put your hand in and give them a good old rub, I thought would be a good idea. I picked up another set of these two, um, I always call them sucky bags. What are they, vacuum storage bags, sucky bags. I mean, honestly, uh, these are two for three pounds. This is the scent uh, pink bouquet. I noticed they do some other fragrances as well. I can't say that the fragrance is particularly strong, but it is there, it's subtle. I quite like it, so I picked up two. As you know from when I went to the range last time, I bought that side table and I'm going to do something with it. And this was bought to help me do that. So this is a huge thing of Garden Natural Jute Twine. It's quite thin. Um, it was £3 for 315 metres, which is really, really good for string. I mean, I call that string, but, you know. Um, and it'll help me do my upcycle on the little table. I bought a whole net. <laughs> Can you see the state on that? It's melted, ladies. It's that hot in this conservatory today that it's actually melted. So that will be going in the bin. I suppose at least it's not on my hips, eh? I also bought some toffee pops. I don't know what sort of state they'll be in in there. I actually bought them, not for me, for my youngest daughter. This was a big thing when they were kids. They loved toffee pops. Um, and these were 39p, so I picked them up. But I think they've melted as well. Oh, picked up this for a pound. I thought this was a good buy. With lots of different flavors. This one happens to be a uh, Mexican seasoning shaker. Uh, they had Cajun and they had various. It says street food style. I love spicing up just about everything. Just giving it that little bang of flavor, you know, a bit of chicken, a bit of salad, whatever. So I picked that up. I thought I'd give it a whirl. And I love Mexican. It's by the Spice Emporium. And I've moved again, because my tumble dryer was beeping at me. It's one of those days. Ah, where was I? Yes, I'd just done the soggy toffee pops. Picked up 70 handy bags. They're just little um, bin bags. They're the small ones for in, you know, like bedroom bins and things like that. I needed them. They were £2.70. I also bought a lot more of the command strips. I mean, I think these things are amazing. Um, I've actually got my mother onto them now as well, although she couldn't work it to begin with. She could not understand it. I paid £6.99 for quite a big pack. It's a value pack. Um, what does it say? Eight times two and four times two. So there's quite a lot in there. I also picked... <laughs> it's too hot in here and I put the bags down and forgot. Uh, I also picked up the McVitie's vibs they're called they're heavenly chocolate hazelnut flavor again I, I don't much rate their chances of survival not judging by that whole nut but um i'll cool them down and 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 then open them up and then probably throw them in the bin but i thought what a great idea chocolate hazelnut i'm gonna have to try it again it's really annoying that i have to buy them again but i will buy them again 
because I love me a chocky bicky. I picked a Vanish Power Gel, the one that is already made and you sort of massage onto your clothing. I'm pretty good. <laughs> I'm saying that. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm not bad at keeping my clothes clean, but my hubby, oh my lord. It's, there's always something down the front of his shirt. And in the hot weather, I find that his collar gets quite grubby. I mean, he's hot and sweaty and oily, and then he's walking in the streets in London, and so and it, gets, it gets a bit grey, so I like to treat the collars. So I saw this one, it's two times concentrated. It's probably been around for ages because I use Spanish, but I've never noticed that before. So I picked it up to give it a go and it was three pounds. Also picked up again for my younger daughter, some bamboo tumblers. Look at the pretty colors on those. It was four pounds for four. Aren't they nice? The kids are in the garden a lot at the moment. And of course we go and sit out there with them. Well, they have their drinking bottles with the straws in the top, you know, character ones. But in my daughter's, she only has glasses. And the other day there was an incident and a glass got broken. And of course then it's pandemonium to keep the kids away, keep animals away and all that and clean up. So I bought her a four pack so that when we go in there, we're babysitting and we're sitting outside in the sandpit and all that, we can take these. Picked up two more of the hats. Remember last time they were, um, Oh, they were from Toy Story, weren't they? They were Woody and Buzz Lightyear. This time, these are Spider-Man ones. The boys have just really discovered Spider-Man and they really, really like him. And it's four pounds for two. So, two pound a hat? I mean, you know, you can't go wrong at that. I also picked up two more of these little side plates that I got. They're two pounds each. If you remember, I bought four. Well, I've bought two more. They're really good. They are really, really good. They're really strong. Um, and there's something about the plate being square. Everything sits on it quite well. So, um, Hubby really likes them too. So I thought, well, if I pick up another two, then I've got six. And, you know, it's not a case of where is it. There's a good chance there'll be one in the drawer. Now, I picked this up and I'm able to tell you that according to my mother, it works. Because she picked one up too. It was five pounds. It's a chill out gel pillow. Um, you put it between your pillowcase and your pillow now she's as i say she's already used hers because we went yesterday shopping um i didn't want to use it until i'd shown it to you i kind of wish now i'd opened it before i showed it to you because i'm having a job as i'm talking to you i'm fighting with this they put a security seal on it oh there we go right so it's amazingly heavy i mean this little box that way right <laughs> you pick it up you're surprised how heavy it is um, it shows that you can use it wrapping it over your arm if you've got an injury you can put it on your car seat to cool the car seat down put it on any chair and and sort of I show you the pictures they show you you know sitting it on a chair so that you can feel a little bit cooler just putting your feet on it or as I say the great one the one I bought it for which is to use it with my pillow now she has already used it she's a hot flush lady too not quite as bad as me but she is a hot flush lady too and we both struggle with sleep um, and she has already used hers and says it is really good and to be honest with you, look just doing that it is cool it really is cool it doesn't need to go in the fridge to be cool it just is cool and at five quid i'm totally worth trying and now my hopes are really up from what mum says i picked up some non-drip gloss um, for wood and metal because um, we have a um, a wooden not a shed like a little cabin a little sun house whatever you want to call it uh, outside and I was persuaded to paint it all well, I wanted it all white but I was persuaded to do the trim in a blue well it's a very pretty blue but it's not right I want my trim in black I like everything white and black because the house is white and black and it just sort of it looks wrong to me and i've been looking at it <laughs> over the last few months going that's not right that's not right from the minute we did it that's not right that's not right um but now we're actually sitting out it's like right there that it's not right so i picked up a can of the dulux non drip gloss uh in black so that i can paint the blue trim out I also picked up two of these. These were 16 pounds each. Um, it's the Hammerite Direct to Rust Metal Paint, again in black, 
we have um, black railings and, uh, and black gates and they get really, I mean they're old, there was, I don't think they were even original to this house, I think that the people that lived here before bought them second hand and attached them um, and they really are very very rusty and not looking their best. So I saw this, I actually bought two bottles, two bottles, two cans of this um, at £16 each, I used a heck of a lot of it though, painting some old garden furniture that was green and had gone I mean, it was green originally, it hadn't gone green. It was green originally, but it was looking really, really tatty. So I went for black. So I'm not gonna have enough to do all the gates that I want to do. I'm probably gonna have to go and get another one, but it's there. I've got no excuses other than the fact that it's hot and a horrible job. And I need to paint my gates. Picked up a monster Dettol laundry cleanser. It doesn't have to be Dettol. For me, it can be the own brands, but they only had the Dettol one there today. Um, this was 5.99. I get laughed at for using this, but I have a, a bit of a thing. I grew up and was brought up to boil washing regularly and to use high temperatures to kill bugs. And of course, now we all use cool temperatures and I can't quite persuade myself that it will get all of the bugs. So I will use the lower temperatures because it's better for the environment, but a cap full of this goes in as well as everything else, just to make sure, just, you know, just, funny brain and I also picked up a Lenore I go through tons of this I know you're only supposed to use a capful and they say if you use too much it's bad for your washing machine it's never hurt a washing machine of mine and I do use considerably more than a capful this is called violet flower vitality which I've never seen before I'm sure it's been there and I've just not seen it but I smelt it like I just did and I thought it smelled really good and really clean washing smell and i also picked up another new for me which is the toilet duck i use a lot of these um this one's called jasmine jump i've never seen one called jasmine jump before and i thought i would give it a go um as i say i do use a lot of i'm a bit do you know i am the messiest person if you were here now you'd be like there isn't a surface that hasn't got something on it because it does need a good clean through I don't mind things, clutter doesn't bother me, but cleanliness bothers me. So like my loos are always immaculate and the washing has got to be, you know? Yeah, I'm a, oh yeah, I'm a split personality. But I thought Jasmine Jump, I'll give it a go. Picked up again for my younger daughter, a new bath mat. Um, this one is a Sea Life novelty bath mat. It was £3.50 special buy. Can you see that it's got fishes and things and, again, my daughter goes through quite a few of these because I don't know about anybody else but they're such a pain to keep clean and the kids are so grubby and of course all three of them go in <laughs> together and then they play with things like soap crayons and, and, and it discolours things and it just leaves sort of a soapy scum. I'm sure that there's a way to clean them and we should clean them and be good with it but you know periodically we just get rid and get new. And the last house thing was I picked up one of these. It's a Beldre. I didn't particularly want pink, but I wanted one that had this extra, can you see, this extra bit on here. I find that bit really good for getting into things. Um, I've always had them, you know, just that shape. But when I saw that, I just thought, oh yeah, I've got a few things that have got like little corners and things that I could really screw that into. So that was 159 and I picked that up. And then the very last things that I bought were two cushions. Look at these cushions. Aren't they gorgeous? Don't need cushions. These are going on my bed. I think the colours on these are lovely. They're very natural. It's like a cotton canvas back loved the colours the rug on the floor or rugs on the floor in my bedroom have this same sort of vibe to them I just thought the colours were really pretty I couldn't resist and they were £10 each and yeah I bought two so that's that that was my range haul I wasn't meant to be buying very much but the range is one of those shops not the range have I been calling this the range all the way through I might have done it's a B&M haul B&M. I went to B&M. I've probably been saying both, haven't I? Range and B&M. I have no idea. It's hot. I feel a bit like the, um, <coughs> the melted hull nut bar. 
So I may have been saying range, I may have been saying pound land, I may have been saying anything, but it was a B&M haul and it was a good one. And I'm going to film some more videos and hopefully um, the brain will join in and get going and, and, and do a decent job. Maybe after a good night's sleep, using my cool gel pillow thing, maybe I'll be a bit more efficient tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you soon. I hope you're well. Bye guys.